Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. This video here I'll be doing a breakdown on a Lenovo desktop. Here I'll be explaining to you step by step on how to take things apart and how to change your hard drive, how to upgrade your RAM, maybe change your motherboard or maybe change the screen. So that this video here, I hope that you give you a step by step on to, for you to do your own repair. And if you find this video is helpful, please click the like button or maybe subscribe to my channel. I would hope that you can smash the like button. That way it helps me to grow my channel. At the same time, it helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest my video to other people as well. All right, so let's get started. I wanted to show you the model number here. So here, as you can see, is Lenovo F0EW. And the manufacturer date for this is 2020 November the 20th. So this computer, which is the, tw uh, we bought it in 2021, uh, 2021. And uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll show you to you on how to uh, take things apart. I'm sorry about the angle on the, on the camera here. I'm not able to show you entirely of the screen. The screen is about 24 inch, it's pretty big. So what I'll do is I'll move the screen um, right in the center of the camera so that at least you can follow along in this video here. All right, so let me go ahead and turn it upside down. So here is actually the back of the uh, computer. So you can see the Lenovo brand here. This is running on an AMD processor. It's a Windows 10 and the stand right here. And this is the charging port, the Ethernet port, HDMI, and you have three USB. Let's go ahead and look on the left side of it. So my left side here, you can see that this is actually a DVD drive. So the eject button is right here. And further down here is your power button. And let me go ahead and explain to you on the other side here, on the right side. Technically, you don't have much here on the right. So it's just a one USB port, SD card reader, and a headphone jack. All right. Before you want to do anything, I would suggest you to have a cloth underneath the table. Um, I mean, have a cloth on the table so that the screen can sit on top of the cloth. Uh, with the cloth, you won't get any scratches on the screen or any damages on the LCD screen. So first we need to remove is the cover of the stand. What you can do is you can press the plastic and then pinch it down and then lift it up. There's nothing special about the cover, it's just actually press it, you should be able to remove the cover easily. Once you remove the cover, you can see there are four screws. Go ahead and remove the four screws. These four screws here are actually holding onto the stand. There's nothing else um, besides holding the stand. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the stand and then at the same time I'm taking the last screw out. The stand is pretty heavy. Okay, so you want to leverage the weight on the stand by holding it while you're unscrewing the last screw. <coughs> so go ahead and move the stand on the side. We are done with the process of removing the stand. So the next thing you want to do is to lift the screen up, move it to your right. As you can see, there's a little plastic cover right here. So go ahead and just remove the plastic cover and you will see the screw. Uh, one of the screw here is exposed. If you look carefully, there's an arrow pointing this direction, meaning that when you turn the screwdriver, you have to follow the the turn on that on that arrow. Okay. So let me go ahead and turn it downwards. Turn it to my right, following the arrow. So what happened is that when I turn the screen is going to be separated. So this screw right here is actually pushing the screen to separate the, the, the cover. So let me go ahead and get a, the right angle here. 
and the same time I like to hold firm so that I won't drop the screen while I'm filming this. So let me go ahead and turn it. Okay, so as you can see when I turn you hear like the cracking noise. Uh, that is normal. So what it does is the screw is pushing the plastic cover and the screen away from each other. So that's normal. Alright, at this point here, what you want to do is you want to get a, uh, a metal prying tool, stick it in between where the crack line is, and you want to actually slowly and push the screen out a little bit away from the plastic. Okay, so take your time, no rush. So like the plastic is pushing apart, so come back here and start doing the same. You do not want to stick you do not want to stick the prying tool too deep because uh, if you do it too deep too deep sorry about that if you stick it too deep what happens is that you might damage the internal part so the speaker is actually right here this is not an exhaust fan the speaker noise the sound is coming from the bottom here so make sure you're not sticking too deep to damage the speaker okay and the Wi-Fi is around this corner as well okay so I'm getting one side is pretty loose and that's it. Once you can separate the plastic cover, it will just come right out. Okay, just use the prying tool, pry it open slowly along along the edge like this. Okay, and that's how you separate the plastic cover. Alright, now you can see the entire of the computer. Let me explain to you what are those things. So here is actually your entire speaker. So earlier, remember I was telling you try not to stick it too deep because the speaker is right there okay so this speaker here goes underneath like this that's where the speaker coming from the bottom here so here is actually a 2.5 inch um, hard drive bay so this is an additional hard drive that you can upgrade to add on to maybe you want to get one of these uh, you know a solid state drive the 2.5 inch solid state drive um, stick it in so that you would have the C drive in here and the secondary drive for your storage whichever it is okay so here is actually uh, a plastic uh, a tape that way you can remove it put in your hard drive and the connector is right here so if you want you can just lift the connector up connect to your hard drive and there you should have it Alright, so let's go ahead and remove this cover so at least you can see the motherboard and expose to what is the mother, um, the RAM and the hard drive in it. By the way, right here on my left where I'm pointing at, that is actually the DVD drive. So the first four screws that I remove are actually only covers this part right here. So once you remove the four screws, you can lift, lift this thing up. Lift, just lift it up. And there you have it. Once you lift the thing up, you can see the CPU fan is right here. With the CPU fan, there are three screws that are holding onto the fan. Go ahead and remove the three screws. Okay, so once you have the three screws removed, the CPU fan will just come right up without any problem. If you want to do a, a CPU fan replacement, this is where you want to look for the model number. Uh, it's DC28000 and 9V0. Okay, so this might be the product number that you want to look for this, uh, the, the fan re replacement. And how to remove the cable? the cable is actually uh, a push push in so you want to remove it you just got to pull out 
to pull straight forward that's how you remove the CPU uh, connector now let's go ahead and, and, and re remove this part here so this part here is actually holding the entire cover for the RAM and the motherboard it looks like the cover has three screws on it so once I remove the three screws this part right here I think it can just pull straight up alright so you just pull straight up and it would uh, remove the metal plate here alright so at this point you're pretty much seeing the entire motherboard here is actually your C drive the M.2 NVMe but this version here is a shorter version instead of the long version that goes all the way here so they make it shorter here so to remove the uh, NVMe drive if you want to do an upgrade to a larger to like one terabyte or whatnot you just have to remove one of the screw and this uh, M.2 NVMe can just slide straight up here is actually your RAM so it already has two slots here 4 gigs and 4 gigs to remove the RAM you, you want to use your two finger and push it away from each other so once you push it away from each other the RAM slot will just pop up at about 45 de degree angle at this angle here you can you and you can slide to your right so when you slide it out that's how you remove the RAM so this RAM is running on a DDR4 and this is a 4 gigabytes you can upgrade to 8 gigs on the first slot and the second gigs on the second slot so that way you would have a 16 gigabytes for now this is running on a 8 gigs All right, at this point here is very straightforward. So this cable right here is actually for the secondary slot on the hard drive. Okay. And probably this is for the um, the webcam in the on the top here, the microphone. This is probably the power button that we should go on onto the side here at the bottom left here. Okay. This is your uh, CPU fan cable. This is your microphone, or uh, not the microphone, sorry. This is your speaker cable. Okay. And um, pretty straightforward. So if you want to remove the heat sink, go ahead and remove the four screws and also one screw right here. And this is to remove the entire heat sink. If you feel like the computer is overheating, you want to apply a new thermal paste, this is where you, we, we're going to wipe it off and apply the new thermal paste here. If you want to change the motherboard, you would have to remove all the screws here. Disconnect the cable. This is for the, uh, I think this is for the webcam. I uh, apologize. This is for the webcam. This is probably for the DVD drive, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's one of those things. This might be for the DVD. And this is actually for your um, webcam. So once you remove all the screw, the, the motherboard will just pop right up without any problem. Now, if you're talking about removing the LCD or replacing the LCD screen, uh, this can be a bit tricky. Alright, so the way they built, I believe that it's just like one of my video on the HP all in one. I'm just assumed that that's how they built for this Lenovo computer. Is you would have to transfer everything, like the motherboard and whatnot, take it apart, take the, take the frame, this is the frame take it apart and you would just replace the entire LCD here okay the process is quite simple it's not difficult uh, you just got to take things apart and then take the black frame as well and replace with the new um, LCD on it all right so I hope the video helps um, I hope that it, my explanation you know give you a, a confidence on how to do your own repair or maybe to do your own upgrade so again, if you like the video, if it's helpful to you, if you find this is helpful, please click the like button. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I will make more video for you. Please stay tuned and take care. And I wish you good luck on your repair.